the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires, fires of, hell. of hell, lead all, lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially, especially those in most need, need of thy mercy. mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to them, The times and occasions are set by my Father's own authority, and it is not for you to know when they will be. After saying this, he was taken up to heaven, and the apostles watched him, and a cloud hid him from their sight. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the, the fires, fires of, hell. of hell. Lead all, all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially, especially those, those in most need, need of thy mercy. mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. The believers who were all gathered in one place saw what looked like tongues of fire, which spread out and touched each person there. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to talk in other languages as the Spirit had enabled them to speak. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, o my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our, our sins. sins. Save, Save us, us from, from the fires, fires of hell. hell. 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of our Blessed Mother. God needed Mary to fulfill his plan of salvation. She is the flesh and blood of Jesus Christ, the Holy One, the, whom the Lord would not allow to be, see corruption. When her life was over, both her body and her soul were taken up into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our, our sins. sins. Save, Save us, us from, from the fires, fires of hell. hell. Lead, Lead all, all souls, souls to heaven, to heaven especially, especially those, those in most need, need of thy mercy. mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of our Blessed Mother, Queen of Heaven. Mary is crowned Queen of Heaven and Earth. Her dress is like the sun, and she has the moon under her feet and a crown of 12 stars on her head. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our, our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires, fires of hell. hell. Lead, Lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially, especially those in most need of thy mercy. mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy, mercy, our life, our, our sweetness, and our hope. hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. O Clement, O Loving. After this, after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, the Loving, O Sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may we be made worthy, worthy of the promises of Christ. O oh God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, life death, and resurrection, has purchased, purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. life. Grant, Grant we beseech thee, thee that by that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, Mary we, may we may imitate what they contain and obtain, and obtain what, they what they promise through that through same Christ, Christ our, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning, and welcome to Our Lady of the Lakes. Uh, this morning, please welcome, we have a lot of our youth from our uh, religious ed program helping us with our liturgy today. So be kind if there's a, little, if, if there's a few nerves and uh, uneasiness as they help us uh, celebrate the, word, the Lord today. So today we will celebrate um, the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant this morning is our pastor, Father Jerry. Our opening hymn is number 505, We Walk by Faith. by faith and not by sight no gracious words we everybody and welcome especially to our guests here at Lady of the Lakes we have our youth helping us today so that's pretty exciting so let's begin in the name of the Father the Son and Holy Spirit may God's grace love peace be with you all by the grace of God we are here we're gonna hear about a lot about humility in the readings because that's the only way we're gonna get into God's presence let's remember the times we have sinned and trust in God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, teacher of justice, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, bearer of mercy, Christ have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, prince of peace, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let's sing the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we Let's pray. Thank you. 
Almighty God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Let's hear God's word. A reading from the book of Sirach. The Lord is a God of justice, who knows no favorites, though not unduly partial towards the weak. Yet he hears the cry of the oppressed. The Lord is not deaf to the will of the orphan, nor to the widow when she pours out her complaint. The one who serves God willingly is heard. The petition reaches the heavens. The prayer of the lowly pierces the clouds. It does not rest till it reaches its goal nor will it withdraw till the Most High responds. Judges justly and affirms the right, and the Lord will not delay. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I'm already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award me on the day. And not only me, but all who have longed for his appearance. My first offense, no one appeared on my behalf, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed, and all my Gentiles might hear it. And as I was, and I was rescued. 
from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil, evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To the Lord forever and ever, amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. Oh God, I thank you that I'm not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, Oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. We got some younger people. Could you come on down for the children's homily? Message, come on down, everybody. If you're visiting, you can come on down too. Yep, it won't take long. Yep, come on down. Just stand up on the steps facing out so everybody sees how good looking you are. Here we go. Because it's true. Yep, get up on the steps. Well, how are you doing today? Pretty nice out, isn't it? Awesome, we're gonna enjoy that. Okay, gonna ask you a question. Tell me something that you're really good at. You have a really good talent. Just tell me, what is it? What? Water skiing? You got my thing, I've never tried it. What else? Wakeboarding. Wakeboarding, well, out of water theme. Anything else you're good at? How many are you good at drawing? Okay, that's good. Maybe riding a bike? Something like that, that's pretty good. Okay, put your hands down. Now, because you can do all that, all those talents, are you better than other people? No, that's right. And that's one of the points of the gospel today. God has given us each different talents. And what we're to do is using them to the best and be proud of them, but not saying you're better than anybody else, okay? Because that's what the Pharisee did, and I'll talk about him. So you thank God for the talents each of you have because they are truly from God, and they're given to you so that you can be happy. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay, go on back. Let's give them a little love, too.
There's a story of a man waiting to get into a parking garage in New York City neighborhood. The writer of this story who experienced this saw a gang of five people hanging out. On the trunk of the car were two large pizza boxes and five glass Snapple bottles, you know, that juice stuff they used to advertise all over the place. Well, these guys were having a great time. They were horsing around, and with the empty Snapple bottles, were smashing them to the pavement, along with pizza, some un -et pizza. Now, the guy that observed this was getting angry, but he wasn't going to do anything because there were five guys and they were way bigger. But he noticed the mess that was going on. And then that's when the clown appeared, a real clown. Grease paint, big rubber nose, floppy hat, baggy pants, big floppy shoes. And apparently he was on his way to some children's birthday party. When he came upon the scene, he said nothing. Clowns don't speak. And so what happened is he walked up to the trunk of the car where these five guys were, picked up one of the boxes, reached down, picked up all the glass, put it in that box, pick up the blobs of pizza on the street, and then walked down to the end of the block and deposited it in a trash bin. Then on the way back, he came back to the five guys he took off his hat and passed the hat. And astonishingly, they all reached into their pockets and put money into his hat. He took the money, put it in his pocket, put his hat back on, tipped his head, and went on his way. What happened in that moment, these youth were humbled. Sometimes we all need to have that experience of humility so that we can find out what's really important and where our strength comes from, and that would be God. We come here this morning to give praise to God. So we ask ourselves, well, are we a Pharisee or are we a tax collector? The tax collectors overall were pretty confident in themselves. You know, you heard in the, in the gospel just now, you know, I'm not an extortioner. I fast twice a week and tithe my income. And so what happened is he basically said, I am better than this publican, this tax collector. See, he had the sin of pride. He might have had good talents, but he was using them to push down other people. The sin of pride is essentially competitive, and really, it's exhausting. Always needing to demonstrate the pride is worthier than others and better than others. So the Pharisee is under the illusion that God is fortunate to hear his praise. The tax collector, he is under no such illusion. He is completely, uh, completely aware that he comes from God and completely empty-handed. He has nothing to stand on but God's mercy. The tax collector or publican can no longer look at himself. He looks away from himself to God. The poor in spirit are not full of themselves so that they can be filled to overflowing with God and all the good things that God has for us. So, how do we get that place of humility? Sometimes it can be painful. My uh, canon lawyer, Father Mason Knox, was an Episcopal priest that taught at a Catholic cemetery. He was wonderful. And he talked about the one and only time that he refused somebody communion in his church. What happened is they would come up in line just like we do here in the Catholic church. And in line, what happened, there was a woman, very well-dressed, and all of a sudden, she sees next to her, her in line a man that's uh, obviously probably homeless, shabby clothes, and foul 
body older, odor. And on the way up to communion, she looks at him with complete disgust and went, oh, it was audible. When she came up to Father Knox for communion, he refused her. Why? Because she was not in the proper place to realize that all of us are God's children, no matter what we look like or anything like that. What happened at that moment is she was humbled. I'm sure she didn't like it, but she was humbled. As I mentioned with our youth that came up, there's nothing wrong with the gifts that we have. You may have all kinds of talents, and I look out here and I been here long enough that I see the talents that you had. And you need to be proud of what God has given you, but not at the expense of something at somebody else's thing. In the telling of the story, halfway through, Jesus always shifts to the focus to the tax collector. He had nothing to be proud of. He had no excuses, no redeeming qualities that could bring this kind of competition with the Pharisees. See, God's mercy is for those who recognize their own weakness, their total dependence on God for any goodness that is in their life at all. That psalm, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The poor, the widow, the children, they always fare really good in the scriptures. Why? Because they have no illusion what's where their help comes from, and that's from God alone. You know, I'm thinking about the upcoming election, and I don't know about you, but I sure am sick of the political ads. And one of the things that I thought was, wouldn't it be wonderful if instead of a political ad, I don't care what party, would, would say something out of humility? That say, you know, I think I am a good candidate right now because I want to serve you. I want to go back to the roots on which this country was founded so that we can work for the good of all. Knowing that we see the face of God in every person and realize our total dependence upon our loving creator. So, who or what is first in your, in your life? And you're hum, are you humbly enough to admit that? The Knights of Columbus has a monthly magazine called Columbia. In this last September issue, that uh, has a lot of inspirational stories. And one of them was a baseball player by the name of Trevor Williams. He's a right-handed pitcher for the New York Mets baseball team. When he raises his hands to deliver a pitch, there's a small tattoo. And it reads, A. M D G. Now, for us that are older, remember if you went to Catholic school, you either had two things on the top of the paper J M J, right? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, or A M D G, which is Ad Majorum De Gloriam, for the greater glory of God. Our school was a J M J. Just want to get that out there. But he's got that on there. He says his professional career is important to him, but his Catholic faith is much more important. He guides him, gives him purpose and perspective far beyond the baseball diamond. When you have the goal of heaven in mind, he says, everything else goes by the wayside. Trevor is married to Jackie. They have four children, one of whom is adopted. In the article, he says this. I was raised Catholic, but it wasn't until I started coming into my identity as a man and as a man of God that I realized my Catholic faith is what defines me. God invites me to have this relationship with him. And we Catholics are so fortunate to have the sacraments and Mary and so many devotions and prayers to help us grow closer to him. 
So my faith is a constant. If something goes awry at all, it's my bearings go back to the church. It's the most important thing in my life, my wife's life, and our family's life. And he ends with this. I understand that baseball is not the most important thing in the world. I am grateful for what has been given to me. That's one of those gifts. But at the end of the day, does baseball matter? Not really. So it's in finding that identity as a Catholic man versus a baseball player. To him, I would say he got it right. He got it right. He has humility. This story is in the bulletin today, so if you want to read it again, make sure you grab a bulletin on the way out. That's what we're about today. You know what? I see a lot of humility here. You know why? Otherwise, you wouldn't have come to church on Sunday morning. You know, at some level, a deep level, the most important thing in life is God. Because everything we have is from God. And if you can say that, you and I have humility. We get it. We get it right. Amen. Let's rise for our creed. Let's use the Apostles' Creed today, and that should be on page 10. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. So now let's ask God for what we need. The response to each will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Nice and loud. For the church, that God bless her with the power and conviction that our youth come to faith in Jesus Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Ready? For Putin's heart. For Putin's heart be softened, that the war against Ukraine be stopped, and for the safety of Ukraine's people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For peacemakers and negotiators, for compassionate leaders and honest lawmakers, for all missionaries in the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For widows and orphans, for the abused and abandoned, for the end of gun violence in our streets, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all human life be honored and supported from concept to natural death, that our sick be healed, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Eric Joshua remembered at this Mass, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs, the needs without our hearts, hearts for, for those, those listed on the sick list for our parish bulletin. We pray. Lord, Good hear job. our prayer. Well, God, you have heard the needs of this community of faith. Grant what we ask now through Christ our Lord. Amen. The deceited as our ties are gathered and the altar prepared.
Our offertory hymn is number 463, Come to Me. to me all who labor and are heavy burdened and I shall give you rest take up my yoke and learn from me for I am meek and humble gifts of bread and wine or tithes and offerings be acceptable to our God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of you. Praise and glory in his name for our good. O Lord, we pray on the offerings we make to you that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. This we pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty, salvation, always, everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours 
that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with the angels, saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we sing. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the Indeed, Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like dewfall, that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, <clears throat> he entered willingly into the Passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout this troubled world. Bring her this fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, and all baptized believers. Remember also our brothers, sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her holy spouse, St. Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Christ to pray in humility as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress as we wait with hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Greet each other with some sign of Christ's peace. If anyone needs a gluten-free oath, come to my station and request it. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 336, Behold the Lamb. Those who were in the dark are thankful for the sunlight. Oh. 
Some quick announcements. Again, big thank you for our youth that uh, took care of most of the ministries this morning. We're glad you did that, so God bless you. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we also still need volunteers for readers, ushers, greeters. You can sign up in the back of church or simply see me afterwards or call the office. That'd be great. This is World Mission Sunday. In the envelope packets, there should have been an envelope, so... Um, Please contribute to help the missionaries around the world. And uh, big, and there's coffee and goodies in the fellowship hall afterwards. We have that every Sunday. So come on in and visit. If you are a visitor passing through, thanks for stopping. If you're a visitor checking us out, consider joining Our Lady of the Lakes. We'd be honored to have you journey with us. So we have done uh, worship putting God first in our, in our lives. Now we leave and do God's work. So have a blessed week. Let us pray. O oh Lord, may your sacraments perfect in us what lies within them, so that we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our closing hymn is number 591, Companions on the Journey. <clears throat>
We be. Baby- 